Self-awareness is key. You're not just doing it to distance yourself from other people. You're also doing it to distance yourself from anyone who could possibly call you out on your behavior. What's up, brothers? On a hike, and I wanted to share a quick thought with you. If you're a high-performing professional, especially one who is dealing with an out-of-control behavior with pornography, as you become more in tune with your emotions, you're going to notice something that uh, all men who struggle with a compulsive behavior have in common, but that is especially common in high-performing professionals. Whether you work in corporate as an executive or whether you run your own business, and that is being judgmental. This is just an observation I've made. I've been coaching men to freedom for 11 years now. And judgment is very common, but judgment and being judgmental is actually a form of distancing. It is a form of distancing yourself from other people. You don't want to be like them. You want the world to know and you want your subconscious to know that I don't want, I don't want anything to do with that person's lifestyle or their values. But why would that be relevant to you ending your behavior with pornography? It's relevant because the reason you have not sought help or the reason why it took you so long to seek help is because you distanced yourself from other people. Distancing yourself from others is a habit pattern which enables your isolation. It enables your isolation, and isolation is an important part <laughs> of your lifestyle because you need to protect yourself from your shameful thoughts, from your guilt, the guilt that fills you when you engage in this behavior that is not aligned with your values. And so, because you have this habit of isolation to protect yourself, to make sure that you're not found out. You don't realize that when you judge other people, it's not just the regular run of the mill being a judgmental person. It is specific to you. You're not just doing it to distance yourself from other people. You're also doing it to distance yourself from anyone who could possibly call you out on your behavior. But in many cases, brother, you're also distancing yourself by being judgmental. You're distancing yourself from the people who can help you. Now, ask yourself this. When you see somebody who says something that makes sense or calls you out, especially when it comes to a shameful behavior, let's use me for example. What are some of the thoughts that come up for you? Because I remember when I was seeking help for different areas of my life, I worked with a lot of different coaches and professionals to help me. I would immediately find something wrong with them. The moment they were right, the moment I knew they could help me, <laughs> I would get judgmental about something. It just started like that. It was subconscious. It could be anything. It could be the way they looked. It could be what their partner looked like. Yeah, that petty. It could be how much money I thought they made. It could be anything. It could be how they spoke, how they carried themselves. I did not know that subconsciously I was seeking something to judge them by, but only so I could distance myself from them. So that's my little uh, nugget, let's call it, about being judgmental. When you're a high-performing professional, trying to end his behavior with pornography. Ask yourself, what am I being judgmental about? And is that actually distancing me from people who can help me, right? One last thing I'll add is that we actually see this a lot in uh, men who call in. <laughs> so we've been doing this for 11 years. You've had enough time to gather a lot of data. And over the years, we've had people who would call in and at the last minute, they would reach back out to the coach, to the reboot strategist. They would say, oh, I was in a, 
I watched one of JK's videos, one of JK's 800 videos, and I really didn't like the way he, he cussed in a video. I really don't like the way he spoke about Christians and prayer. I just, I just don't like what it implies. So uh, he's not the type of person I want to work with. This is relevant because years later, that brother forgets why he was judgmental about us. He forgets that he distanced himself from us. He forgets, we don't because we keep all the emails, right? So if you've been emailing back and forth with us, we got your email, right? If you're not a client and he reaches out again. It's very interesting because we gather the data and we find that that's what a lot of men do. I did it myself. You may be doing it, brothers. Woo. Self-awareness is key. Now, I'm gonna save my breath to get the top of the, <laughs> to the top of this hill before I pass out. Y'all have a great day. Bye.